hello friends i welcome you to my youtube channel mac pm so in today's video we will study about the shear stresses in the beams so in the previous classes as we have seen that suppose there is a beam of span l and there is a load f acting on this beam then we can see that there will be a shear force of f uh, constant uh, f acting across the length of the beam and uh, there will be a bending moment which will act across the beam so this this will become f into l so in this type of shear force diagram and bending moment diagram we have seen that shear force is how shear force is varying across the length or span of the beam so suppose uh, this beam is a rectangular beam then we have to find how shear force varies across this section suppose this is a section we have chosen a a then how and shear force is acting on this particular section and for that purpose we have to find shear force uh, variation across the section for that this formula is applicable this is the shear force shear stress and this is the f in the shear force suppose this is the cross section of the beam rectangular cross section then shear stress across this suppose this is section xs across the cross section of the beam then shear force acting is f and uh, this is b is the width of the beam and a uh, y is the distance of this section from neutral axis of the beam so this is y and uh, this is i is the moment of inertia of this cross section and a is the area above this cross section so this is the area a now suppose we have to find the shear force, uh, shear force distribution uh, in shear stress distribution in a rectangular cross section then how to find then we already know the formula f is equal uh, q is equal to f upon b i a into y so we have seen that what is y bar here y bar is the distance of the neutral axis of uh, this cross section which is above the uh, chosen section AA so this is Y bar so this is the distance of the neutral axis of this area which is above uh, the section AA from the neutral axis of the whole cross section so we have to find this so as we have seen that F is uh, F force is already known B is the width of the cross section which is already known I is the moment of inertia of this cross section which is B D Q by 12 as we know for the uh, rectangular cross section so moment of inertia is always B D Q by 12 ok now we have to find this area A this is cross section A A above this area is A A area is A is small a so how to find this area so we can see that this height is D by 2 from here to here it is d by 2 and this is y so this distance will be d by 2 minus y so d by 2 minus y and area will be height into width so height uh, then height already we know d by 2 minus y d by 2 minus y is the height and width will be b so this is a a is equal to area is equal to d by 2 minus y into b now we have to find the distance of the neutral axis of this area from the neutral axis of this whole cross section so how to find y bar so we already know that this distance is d by 2 minus y so this distance will be half of this because for a rectangular section neutral axis will be uh, in between in the center so we have to find the neutral uh, centroid of this section so it will be half of this height so it will become half into half of uh, this height is d by 2 minus y so we can see that d by 2 minus y half is only this this part so we have to add this y so that we can get this distance from here so it will become plus y so if we simplify that it will be half half d by 2 minus y plus 
y so it will become d by 4 minus y by 2 plus y by 2 sorry plus y so it will become d by 4 plus y by 2 if we take half common then it will become half into d by 2 plus y so we already know all the values if we put these values in our uh, formula then we will get f is equal to q is equal to f upon b i into a into y bar which will become we already know that f force is constant and uh, the b is b into i is b t q by 12 b d q by 12 now this a is d by 2 minus y into b into y is y bar is we already know y bar is half into d by 2 plus y half into d by 2 plus y so we can cut this b from this b and half from this it will become 6 so 6 will go up 6f 6f into 6f by bdq into d by 2 minus y d by 2 plus y so it will become 6f upon bdq into a, a minus b into a plus b is equal to a square minus b square so it will become d square by 4 minus y square So this is the formula for variation of shear stress across this cross section. So we can see that Q is proportional to y square minus y square. So it is the equation of parabola. So shear stress across this section will vary in the parabolic order. So how to calculate the end at end points? See that from neutral axis distance is d by 2. If y become d by 2, then we will get shear stress at the end points. So if we put y is equal to d by 2, then we will get q, q is equal to shear stress is equal to 6f upon b d q d square by 4 minus it will become d square by 4. d by 2 to the whole square equal y is equal to d square by 4. So it will become 0. So we can see that shear stress at this point and shear stress at this point is 0. Now if we calculate the shear stress at this point, so here we can see that y is equal to 0. So if we put y is equal to 0 here, then shear stress will become 6f upon bd cube d square by 4. So it will become this square will cancel this and 2, 3, 6. So it will become 3 upon 2 B D and it is 3 F upon 2 B D. So here stress will go parabolically from 0 to maximum at center. So it will become like this 0 here, 0 here, and maximum at the center. And this value is 3 F upon 2 B D. Okay, so we can say that this is the shear stress diagram across the uh, rectangular cross section of the beam okay and if we have to calculate the average average shear stress at this section then average force shear force is f and average area area of this section is b into d so average shear stress is 3 f upon bd so we can then see that shear stress maximum is 3 by 2 times shear, uh, shear stress average so q max is equal to 3 by 2 q average this can be an objective question so i hope you understood how to calculate the shear stress across the rectangular cross section for other section please watch our next video thanks